Now, let's allow me to invite the President of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, His Excellency Ranil Wiremensige, to deliver a keynote address. Excellency, you have the floor. Madam Moderator, I will make my contribution to debt sustainability by reducing the time taken to make my contribution. <clears throat> I would uh, first bring to your attention the fate of the middle-income countries because there is no common framework, there is no procedure for the middle-income countries. <clears throat> I will give an example of Sri Lanka. When, uh, <clears throat> when bankruptcy was declared, all external financial dealings came to a halt. <clears throat> we are heading for a major crisis, political crisis again. But thanks to the fact that Sri Lanka had to uh, apply for re-graduation, and was able to obtain in a short time, and the gift of fertilizer from the U.S. government, we were able to prevent another political crisis taking place. <clears throat> Therefore, I would first highlight on the need for a plan for the middle-income countries in financial difficulty. <clears throat> Secondly, while discussing all the proposals that have been put forward, we must also look at what is available in the global economy. This year, the projected global GDP is 105 trillion US dollars. Of this, 91 trillion, uh, 91 uh, trillion US dollars is the public debt. So we are working on these assumptions. We have to use what is available to begin with. Currently, 100 billion dollars is available as a part of the IMF Resilience and Sustainability Trust. In the interim, let us utilize this fund. The first step is to get, uh, get the IMF Resilience Fund to uh, start functioning. Then the Secretary General's SDG stimulus calls for $500 billion to be made available annually to developing countries, as well as converting short-term lending into long-term debt at lower interest rates. This still has to be realized. So we must now focus on making a success of the program, of the proposal put forward by the Secretary uh, General. I will also say, uh, while this is available, there are two other proposals that were made here. One is the World Bank proposal to ease out subsidies on fertilizer and uh, fuel. I think this is a proposal worthwhile considering if the money is saved, can be redirected to other areas. Secondly, is the WTO proposals on trade finance. Yes, that's needed. We have to, we, we have to ensure that there is uh, money available for expansion of our export. Then, uh, while we go into these uh, issues, which will take time, you can't rush into it. What is the relief that we can give people? There, I would... Uh, I would recommend President Ruto's proposal on writing off or giving a relief. Microphone, please. The debt of the low income country. I know there are genuine concerns of the creditors, which we must take into account. But I would recommend that we focus on President Ruto's proposal and we build on it. There has to be something that is, a, there has to be concrete <coughs> relief available to the low-income uh, country. If we don't provide that relief immediately, we can, I think, write off all the other proposals we have. We have to address this issue. So I, I will not take uh, any more of your time, but to bring uh, to your notice that in UN, on this issue, we have, issue, uh, we have achieved solidarity in words. Madam, when will we achieve Solidarity in action. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Excellency.